top-notch English actor, and he said he went to see Streetcar Named Desire, and he said he was embarrassed because he thought a stagehand had wandered onto the stage accidentally. Robert Duvall is an American actor and filmmaker whose career spans more than seven decades. He's been nominated for seven Academy Awards and seven Golden Globe Awards, of which he has won four, and has won a BAFTA, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and an Emmy Award. He received the National Medal of Arts in 2005. Duvall began appearing in theater during the late 1950s, moving into television and film roles during the early 1960s, playing Boo Radley in To Kill a Mockingbird, and has appeared in a number of blockbuster hit movies over the years. He had strange aspects to him. I got a letter from him down in my living room that I value as much as my Oscar. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Selden Duvall, but is also known as Bob. He was born January 5th, 1931 in San Diego, California, making him 90 at the time of this production. He stands five feet, nine inches tall or 174 centimeters. In 2001, Pedraza and Duval founded the Robert Duval Children's Fund to assist families in northern Argentina through renovations of homes, schools, and medical facilities. Duval is known to train Brazilian jiu-jitsu and practices martial arts with his wife. Duval's political views are variously described as libertarian or conservative. He was personally invited to Republican President George W. Bush's inauguration in 2001. In September 2007, he announced his support for Republican presidential candidate Rudy Giuliani. Duval is also known as a very skilled Argentine tango dancer, having a tango studio in Argentina and in the United States. Duval quoted a friend about how being an actor helped in meeting women. Bob, it's the greatest leg opener in the world, isn't it? He's been married four times, but does not have any children. I guess I'm shooting blanks, he said in 2007. I've tried with a lot of different women in and out of marriage. Duvall met his first wife, Barbara Benjamin, a former dancer on The Jackie Gleason Show, during the shooting of To Kill a Mockingbird. She had two daughters from her previous marriage. The couple were married from 1964 till 1975. His second wife was Gail Youngs, to whom he was married from 1982 to 1986. His marriage to Youngs temporarily made him the brother-in-law of John Savage, Robin Young, and Jim Youngs. His third marriage was to Sharon Brophy, a dancer from 1991 to 1995. In 2005, Duvall married his fourth wife, Luciana Pedraza, granddaughter of Argentine aviation pioneer Susana Ferrari Billinghurst. He met Pedraza in Argentina, recalling, the flower shop was closed, so I went to the bakery. If the flower shop had been open, I never would have met her. They were both born on January 5th, but Duvall is 41 years older. They've been together since 1997. He produced, directed, and acted with her in Assassination Tango, with the majority of filming in Buenos Aires. I need back and see what you do. That's why they hire you to see what you do. Because when actors get together, they say, what was that director like? You say, well, he left me alone. Oh, terrific. Robert Selden Duvall was born January 5, 1931 in San Diego, California, the son of Mildred Virginia, an amateur actress, and William Howard Duvall, a Virginia-born U.S. Navy Rear Admiral. He grew up primarily in Annapolis, Maryland, site of the U.S. Naval Academy, and was raised in the Christian Science religion. He attended Severn School in Severna Park, Maryland, and the Principla in St. Louis, Missouri. He graduated in 1953 from Principla College in Elsa, Illinois, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Drama. In the winter of 1955, Duvall began studies at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of Theater in New York City under Sanford Meisner on the GI Bill. Duvall's screen debut was as Boo Radley in the critically acclaimed To Kill a Mockingbird in 1962. Duvall began to make a name for himself as a stage actor in New York winning an Obie Award in 1965. He found steady work in episodic TV and appeared as a modestly billed character actor in films such as Arthur Penn's The Chase with Marlon Brando and in Robert Altman's Countdown and Francis Ford Coppola's The Rain People, released in 1969, in both of which he co-starred with James Caan. 
He was also memorable as the heavy who shot by John Wayne at the climax of True Grit in 1969 and was the first major Frank Burns, creating the character in Altman's Korean war comedy MASH in 1970. He also appeared as the eponymous lead in George Lucas's directorial debut, THX 1138, in 1971. It was Francis Ford Coppola casting The Godfather who reunited Duvall with Brando and Khan and provided him with his career breakthrough as mob lawyer Tom Hagen. He received the first of his six Academy Award nominations for the role. Thereafter, Duvall had steady work in featured roles in films such as The Godfather Part II, released in 1974, and three films in 1976, The Killer Elite, Network, and the 7% Solution. However, it was his appearance as Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore in another Coppola picture, Apocalypse Now, released in 1979, that solidified Duvall's reputation as a great actor. He got his second Academy Award nomination for the role and was named by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most versatile actor in the world. Duvall made Oscar-nominated turns in The Great Santini, 1979, and Tender Mercies, 1983 the latter of which won him the Academy Award for Best Actor. His greatest achievement in his immediate post-Oscar period was his triumphant characterization of grizzled Texas Ranger Gus McRae in the TV miniseries Lonesome Dove, for which he received an Emmy nomination in 1989. Duvall also has directed pictures including the documentary We're Not the Jet Set, Angelo My Love, and Assassination Tango. In 2006, he won an Emmy for the role of Prentice Print Ritter in the revisionist Western miniseries Broken Trail. In 2015, at age 84, Duvall became the oldest actor ever nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the film The Judge. In 2018, he appeared in the Steve McQueen-directed heist thriller Widows as a corrupt power broker. Even at 90 years of age, he's still acting in films. Or whatever, it's got to be your temperament without stepping out of that, and then it becomes more like acting. But you try to keep it with, you know, from you. Robert Duvall has had a long and esteemed acting career and has made most of his money to date by working lead and supporting roles in movies. In 1972, he started from a meager salary of $36,000 from the film Godfather One. Two years later, his pay for reprising his role in the sequel grew astronomically as he earned $500,000, which adjusted for inflation would be $2.6 million today. Robert Duvall's net worth is $70 million. Duvall's primary residence is Burnley Farms, which is a 250-year-old Georgian estate located in Northern Virginia's Farquhar County. Duvall purchased the property, which consists of 360 acres in 1994, for $3.6 million. A longtime companion of Duvall designed the interiors of Burnley Farms. The farm has thick stone walls and pine floors. Duvall has property in Argentina, a seven-bedroom hotel in Salta called the House of Jasmines. These are the cars which you'll find in Duvall's garage. Cadillac Escalade, nineteen sixty nine Ford Mustang. Mercedes-Benz S550 Porsche 911 Turbo
a Ferrari, 